All right, so admittedly, I don't know whether or not I like this next stage. I'm kind of split on it. All right, so what's our Repliforce member today done? What terrible crime is he guilty of? Well, he occupies the laboratory and will attack whoever visits there. He attacks visitors. Not just inconveniences them, he attacks them. Alright, so split mushroom stage. Alright, so very cool effect first and foremost. Uh, I do love how it looks to run up this staircase. That's kind of an interesting gimmick though. Certainly not one that has to be unique to a laboratory. This kind of stage could appear in a lot of different, like, level types. And in fact, we may see a very similar effect in the future. I'm grumbling about that one, though. But yeah, no, this is an old lab stage, so... I don't actually have a point for that, because... <laughs> this is actually kind of just, like, a miscellany level. It's just a whole lot of bits and pieces of level kind of shoved into one doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's got an okay paint over it to kind of make it up for it being miscellaneous. And you know, as far as labs go, I do usually go like, ah, labs are always these, these like gray mechanical looking areas, but this one does look pretty cool. Uh, it's got a bit of overgrowth to it. It's very wrecked. It's very much in disarray. It's also pretty solid. Oh, do we have the mini boss already? I think we do. This, yes, okay, we are at the mini boss. So, this is the type of boss who will attempt to remove the platforms you have available to you. Uh, so, he's just gonna kind of linger below you and eventually do something like that. To which you respond by hitting him. And depending on how late in the game you are, uh, this battle gets easier or harder, uh, just based entirely on what weapons you have at your disposal. Zero has the ability to just do that, which means he wins. Uh, it's a bunch of hits in a row. Uh, so, since that guy doesn't have nearly enough iframes to really deal with that, it's a pretty easy affair. And now we have part two of the stage, which starts the same but with different enemies. Uh, it's a cool effect, but mm, I'm not the biggest fan of just, hey, here's an enemy hallway. I don't feel like it's that much different from an enemy hallway like you'd see normally. But I don't know, just something about the fact that it's a staircase makes it feel like I'm being ambushed constantly, right? Like, I mean, clearly they're higher up. They have the higher ground, meaning they've basically won the fight already. But like, it does feel like it, they just have the inherent height advantage. Uh, thus making it so when they appear on screen, oh, it's out of nowhere, it's blindsiding me, but... You know, it really isn't that much different from a normal enemy spawn, it's just the brain doing weird things. <laughs> brain making weird justifications and disliking things for being different. Uh, back there we had a section where we had to wait for one of the platforms to fall to get a heart. Kind of a tricky jump, but it's very obvious where it is, and... For the most part, you really don't need any extra abilities to get to it. Now, that being said, with a mini-boss, I don't think I could recommend doing this stage first. Just considering the fact that, like... Uh, the mini-boss can be pretty tough if you don't have any extra weapons. It's pretty straightforward, but if you do want to keep yourself from danger, it is best if you have some kind of thing that can hit rapidly. Though with X, you can kind of just shoot it a bunch, so it's not a huge deal. In general, as long as you're good at tapping the button. You don't need anything too much extra to really add to that, but... Certainly helps. I sure did. You made it this far! I thought I put in just like a whole bunch of weird obstacles, but you are good at all of them. <laughs> Who's your commanding officer? I am the commanding officer! <laughs> How dare you! Disregarding me just because I'm small! 
Alright, so split mushroom. Uh, this boss is hard. <laughs> I feel like I saved a lot of the harder bosses for later. Some of the easier bosses for later though too. It's a mix. It's a Mega Man game. You're gonna have a better time with some of them. Worst time with others. But yeah, no. Uh, Split Mushroom is just one of those bosses that is constantly active and doing things. Uh, and he also creates a clone of himself. Which is hard to deal with, I will say. Because it's also doing things constantly. And even though you can't affect the clone, uh, it can affect you. So you have to be paying attention to two different attack patterns, which don't particularly sync up half the time. And even when they do sync up, it's in such a way that makes it more difficult. Now, as always, Zero does good damage against bosses, and the fact that Split Mushroom is constantly in your face means that, like, I could just do damage pretty immediately and not have to worry about blowback. But X, on the other hand, oh god, this, bo this boss is a nightmare with X. It is not an easy one at all. Kunbu, however, is a very useful move if I'm remembering this correctly. With the correct timing, higher and further jumps are possible, while airborne. It's a double jump. Kunzun may be activated while attacking in the air. And this also links up with one of our other attacks uh, that Zero can potentially get. Uh, which basically just means you get a good, uh, like, air dash. You get a good, like, circular air attack. It's actually, combined, those are some of the best abilities in the game. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's just a double jump if you don't have any other moves, which is also useful. Though, good thing to note, you cannot use a double jump after an air dash. So, if you have air dashed, uh, don't think you're gonna get an extra jump. It's gotta be, uh, right after just a normal jump. Uh, Soul Body is also a very useful move because it's pretty straightforward. Which kind of puts it leagues above other moves. This is one of those Mega Man games where the abilities kind of feel way too niche if you're X. If you're Zero though, they work out perfectly and they're super fun. Anyway, that's it. So, um, guess I'll see you next time. Sorry, the only other fungus joke I could make was a real shiitake, so I decided not to go with it. Sorry. Who is Order Split Mushroom? Answer me now!